Hello everyone and welcome back to the UH Esports Weekly Roundup. My name is Artie Zopi and week 9 was lost to us from spring break, but we are now in week 10, but we are on the home stretch, so don't FF now gamers. Starting off with Valorant, we are excited to announce that our homeboy Rod has moved on officially to the Valorant Varsity V1 squad. Big shout out to him, super proud of the uh, awesome work that he's been doing. We've also been trying out a new player on our Varsity V2 squad. They played in our match against University of DePaul last week where we won 13 to 10. Also, last Friday night was the UH Esports uh, crossover event with the UH Manoa Memes for Moped Riding Teens Discord server where we played a Valorant community night with strats from a hat. So that was super fun. You can check out the VOD that we actually just uploaded to YouTube. Also, a really fun fact to note is that that broadcast was hosted in person at the university. So it's really awesome to see that the uh, university and UH Esports is taking all the steps necessary to keep everyone safe during these times. And as COVID finally starts to get a little bit better on the island, hopefully a lot more of these events will be happening soon. The Valorant program manager, Kaysen, also wanted to give a big shout out to our players on the Valorant team, Kayahi and Atec, for their excellent work in organizing and making sure that everything is staying super calm and collected during these big roster changes. So big shout out to them and keep up the great work. Playoffs of the UGC League started over spring break for the Overwatch team, but they started on a bye week and got to enjoy their spring break due to their tied for first win of the regular season. That being said, they also won their last match of the regular season last Friday before spring break 2-0. The Academy team also won their first ever playoff match this past Friday. They advanced to the second round of the playoffs for the UGC League and the main roster plays their first match of the UGC League this upcoming Friday. Over spring break, our Super Smash Bros. team was doing some work. They picked up a massive win against Fairfield University going 31-1. to Then they picked up a very big and important win against Canisius College by a score of 21-9, to which puts the team in a great position to secure playoff spots in the EGF League. The players came up with some big clutch plays to help secure the win, which brings their overall team record to now 7-6 to after winning three in a row. The team also has one more match this week against Ryder University. Some really big news regarding the Smash team. The Smash team is going to be starting up a local Smash Ultimate Tournament series again this year after a year-long hiatus. The new online series is called Manoa Monthlies and anyone in Hawaii can register as long as they have a LAN adapter. The Smash team will also be participating in this tournament, so it could be a great way for students who missed out on joining the team this year and want to join next year show off what they got. We got some great news regarding Rocket League over spring break. The Rocket League team participated in the CRL qualifiers this weekend and they had a great run before losing 1-2 to UCLA in the lower bracket. They played very well for such a new team and they're looking forward to the next qualifier in a couple weeks. They are always looking for new members so please be sure to sign up at the form in the description down below that like button. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching and uh, we will see you here once again next week. And uh, once again, my name is Artie Zopi and uh, have a great week.